Hi, I'm Trev Hutchings, and this is how to install and use Native Instruments Analog Dreams. Analog Dreams is currently free as part of the free Complete Start bundle from Native Instruments. And it's a pretty good introduction to Native Instruments VST plugins. First, you will need to install Analog Dreams by opening the Native Access app. Then click on Install below the words Analog Dreams. Once installed, open the standalone contact app to add the plugin to the contact database. Next, open your door software. Here, I'm using Cakewalk by BandLab. In Cakewalk, click on Plugins, then click on the Instruments icon. Now double click on Uncategorized and double click on Contact. Then click on OK on the Options window. Double click on the instrument icon on the instrument track if the contact window does not open. Now click on the Analog Dreams image. Then double click on Analog Dreams. The sound patches are made up of two sound parts. Part A and Part B. Now click on Part A. The sound list now appears. The current sound in part A has the letter A to the right of the sound name. Click on a sound to change the sound of part A. Click on the left or right arrow to scroll through the pages of sounds. Now click on B. The current sound in part B has the letter B to the right of the sound name. Click on a sound to change the sound for part B. Click on the X to close the sound list. The function of most of the knobs can be different for each sound patch, except the blend knob and the volume knob. 
press on the blend knob and drag down the screen to increase the volume of part A and reduce the volume of part B. Or press on the blend knob and drag up the screen to increase the volume of part B and reduce the volume of part A. Press on the volume knob and drag down the screen to reduce the sound patch volume. Or press on the volume knob and drag up the screen to increase the sound patch volume. The other knobs will depend on the original sound parts and the sound patch effects. To change the sound patch, click on the sound patch name. Then click on a category. Here I will click on pads. Then click on a sound patch name. Here I will click on navigator. Here you can see the second knob is now attack. Press on the knob and drag down to reduce the attack or drag up to increase the attack. Press on the release knob and drag down to reduce the release time or drag up to increase the release time. Press on the cutoff knob and drag down to reduce the amount of high frequencies or drag up to increase the amount of high frequencies. Press on the noise knob and drag down to reduce the noise effect or drag up to increase the noise effect. Press on the delay knob and drag down to reduce the delay effect or drag up to increase the delay effect. Press on the reverb knob and drag down to reduce the amount of reverb or drag up to increase the amount of reverb. By changing the two sounds, you can create your own sounds. But also, as different sound patches have different knobs and effects, using the same two sound parts on different sound patches can create different results. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.